This week's video is a fun Zwift indoor cycling heart pounding maximum effort smash fest. If you do not normally watch my Zwift indoor cycling videos, firstly, thank you for clicking on this video, but please don't click away. As anyone who is a fan of fitness and the occasional underdog story, you're going to enjoy this video. Ah. Ah. Okay guys, welcome to today's video. Now I will say, if this isn't your thing, FTP tests, then I don't blame you for not watching because FTP tests are probably the most boring thing to watch on YouTube. Now I need to admit publicly that I am an indoor cycling fraud, or at least on the back of my last Zwifting video where I felt like a great pretender. Ah! Yeah. And I always said very early on in my Zwifting career that if or when I win a race as convincingly as that, then I'll step up to Cat C. I think fraud might be a bit of an overstatement. And to be fair, I did say as much during that video. But this thumbnail and that statement, that intro statement, makes for good clickbait. Please don't hate me. I need to fight the algorithm. I am going to admit now that not only did I not win in said Cat C races in that video, I was also dropped like a cheap date on a Saturday night, placing 15th, 14th, 19th, 35th, that one was a particularly bad race, 13th and then 17th in subsequent races that I didn't film, all within a relatively close time frame of each other. I'm back to the point of racing where tactics have gone out the window completely. The only tactic I've got in my head, stay in the draft. They've just shot off the front. It's strung out again. It's turned into a team time trial. Again, the draft is disappearing. I just don't have it. Now we've been dropped. That's it. Easy as that. As easy as that. It has been a long time. It has been a long time since I've seen that happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you now that coming from a good place in Cat D, where I was doing all right, into Cat C was not fun. D to C is a huge jump. So I did what any self-respecting fitness YouTuber would do who wants to grow his channel and hide the depressing reality of real life. I buggered off and left Zwift for three weeks, not posting anything about it. We were on a break. We were on a break! But I did a poll on YouTube a few days ago now where I asked people for ideas for Zwift related videos. I haven't been on Zwift for, I think the last race I did was about three weeks ago. I haven't used Zwift at all, but even one race or two races isn't enough. You know that if you haven't, if you don't pretty much race every day, with the exception of the odd day here and there, if you don't race pretty much consistently on Zwift, then you lose what people call Zwift legs. This is what I've heard in the ether. <laughs> and it is a thing, it is a thing. As soon as you stop racing consistently, you do lose about 50 watts immediately off of your ability to keep up with the lead pack in a race. If you recall from my last Zwift video, I made the statement that I had now won six D cat races and placed on the podium 19 times, according to Zwift Power. I was now only going to race in cat C and I made an inspirational but ultimately vain attempt to win or at least not get dropped in a cat C race. Go check that video out if you haven't done so already. It's a really good video. I'll leave the link in the description. I'm broken. <laughs> Hardest race I've had in a long time. We're back on the grind, baby. Every day, we're hustling. Now, in my defense, I did have a big fitness event that wasn't cycling related in the form of an SAS endurance event called the Fan Dance. And it's not raining. If I'd have got my tactics better, the link for that absolute suffer fest is in anyway. the description if you fancy watching something that isn't cycling related. If my uncle was a bird, he'd be my aunt. I used this event, this fan dance event, as an excuse to avoid cat see like the plague until my swift addiction, mainly caused by the real life addiction I had to the Tour de France on TV. How good was the Tour de France, by the way? And my worryingly unhealthy obsession with Pogaccia made me want to jump back onto Zwift again because Zwift is the closest I'll ever get to an in real life race and the closest I'll ever get to trying to climb big mountains like they do on the Tour de France. By the way, if you want to hear me talk at length about the Tour de France, providing you with all my expertise and extensive cycling knowledge, 
then please consider listening to my podcast on my Patreon and join page. Episode 6 is my Tour de France review. Link is in the description. Your support is greatly appreciated. Anyway, watching the Tour de France made me want to try another race. So like the influential Zwifting guru that I am, I forgot all about my past misgivings, jumped into a race on one of my favourite courses, RGV, and because of my short break, I returned fresh and ready to smash new boundaries. I placed, unbelievably, I placed third on the podium. And what category was this in, Ryan? I hear you passively aggressively ask. Well, it was cat. D, I will have to accept your judgment on this really poor decision. I should have been racing in C. I did the one thing I said I wouldn't do. I raced in Cat D and I placed on the podium and boy, did it feel good. I was that 44-year-old smoker having a cheeky fag behind the potting shed, having promised everyone he knows that he'd given up. I knew it was wrong, but boy, did it feel good. So guys, I then did something even more inspirational than I did before. I buggered off again for another two weeks having had my Zwifting fix and the thought of racing in Cat C still filled me with dread. I've still got PTSD from my first few Cat C races. So um, I'm going to attempt today because of that vote that I put out a few days ago. People voted for an FTP test. I've had it wasn't the most imaginative of uh, voting ideas that I've had. Now, I did eventually return to Zwift. I pulled up my big boy bib shorts, big boy bib shorts, and having put out a community post asking for Zwift related video ideas from you guys in the vain hope of avoiding racing in Cat C and doing something else on Zwift, your responses were unique to say the least, with one person suggesting I ride on Zwift for 24 hours straight. Now guys, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm looking to make entertaining fitness related videos. I'm not looking to forcibly insert a bike saddle into my intestines over a slow gradual period of time. I did however get a few suggestions to attempt the grade. I'd seen a few Zwifters do this and thought it looked like fun. I did fancy the grade. I've been fancying doing it since it came out. So I thought let's see how many horses have actually fled the stables over the past few weeks of sporadic cycling? This is going to be me embarrassing myself after not racing for three weeks to see how many watts I've lost off of my FTP while I try and climb the grade. Hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to do just a right. So for the grade, I need a warm up. So I'm not going to do oh no hill or oh hill no even because that is literally hits the grade immediately. So I need a warm up. Now I'm going to get my excuses in now before I hit the bottom of the climb. I did a big endurance event, not on the bike. I did a big running, backpacking, rucking endurance event a week ago and my feet, I destroyed my feet. So I've got wounds there. They're not blisters, <laughs> I'm justifying it, but they're wounds on the back of my heels, which literally I've taken chunks of my heels out. So tactics, I've been watching quite a few YouTube videos of how to do the grade. I say quite a few, I think four. Is that, does that count as quite a few? Uh, and they all talk about consistent, steady pace from the beginning and build up gradually, which I don't think I've ever done that on Zwift. So here we go. Now, I'm not going to play the entire grade attempt. If you want to watch this effort, this specific effort, then I have the whole thing on my membership pages, on my Patreon and join pages, so you can go and check it out there. Link in the description. Thank you for supporting me. <sighs> Suffice to say that my final FTP of 226 was not only lukewarm, but significantly below my already pre-existing FTP of 234. Not only had I not increased my wattage, I had lost 8 watts over the last few months somehow. Ah, ah. Ah. Aye, aye, aye. So I then did something truly inspirational. I didn't run away for the next few weeks, as was now my MO. I decided to stand and fight. Okay, good, I'm recording. Welcome to today's video. So this is gonna be a good video. There's so much I need to cram into this video. So, three weeks off the bike and I have lost how many have I lost? I've lost 24 watts off of my FTP. No, not off my FTP. I've lost 24 watts off of my max 20 minute effort. I think my FTP I've lost 
nine, eight watts. Not a huge amount, but enough that it's a step back. Really annoying that you can lose. You put, it takes weeks, sometimes even months to get to your, um, you know, peak best on Zwift, if that's what I can call it, peak best. I'm hardly elite. I managed to break out of D and compete in C. I did a race where I actually got to the end of a C cap race. Granted, it was dead flat, but I was very lucky with my with my competitors and I got to the end of a C cap race with the lead group. I didn't win. I came something ridiculous, but I got to the end of the race with the lead pack before they started sprinting. I'm nowhere near that. I did a race yesterday, DCAT, first race back after several weeks out. And I know from past experience how hard it is to get back into Zwift when you haven't been riding consistently. I know how easy it is to lose your Zwift legs. So I did a DCAT just as a warm up for today's race. I know I was planning to do this race today. And I got dropped within the first lap. I blew up completely. I tried to keep up with, there was a strong lead D cat rider who, you know, three weeks ago, it wouldn't have been a problem. But yeah, yesterday completely blew up, got dropped and I zone two'd it for the last lap and, you know, finished it. Might as well have been dead last. So with the disappointment still ringing in my ears after that failed FTP attempt, I decided to force a real promotion into Cat C permanently. After all, I had everything going for me. A lukewarm attempt up the grade, a new FTP 8 watts below my personal best, and multiple trauma-inducing losses in Cat C. And if I'm being completely honest, my recent Cat D podium win wasn't even a in-race win. It was only a podium on Zwift Power. So even Cat D is a struggle at the moment. Everything was against me. Yes, guys, I hadn't been promoted into Cat C, even though I got loads of comments on my last Zwifting video congratulating me for said fake promotion, I felt I needed to repay my subscriber support in that video with a real promotion into C. So for everyone that did comment thinking I had been promoted, I hadn't, I was the great pretender, this video is for you. I'm gonna do today a Zwift racing score race, but I'm not just gonna do any Zwift racing score race. I found it yesterday, through another Zwifter, another very capable Zwifter. I found out from him yesterday that there are some prime time, what they call prime time races, and it's UK time, six o'clock, and they're broken into two separate races. I've been given a very pathetic score. Are you ready for this? Of 302. <laughs> so I am just, I think, two points above the lowest category. Now, in hindsight and in edit now, I'm looking at the riders in this race and they're all Cat C, which made me feel a little bit better about my poor Zwift racing score. Plus, it was a prime time UK evening race, the race that everyone seems to want to join. All the crazy Cat C racers all seem to join this race. And it's the one that splits the race into two sections, high end and low end scores. I'm obviously in the low end and proud to be there. Stage three of the Viva La France. This is the Duché France low end using the racing score system. I'm not feeling at the top end of my racing game at the moment. And I'm also feeling really lethargic today. I'm feeling very flat in myself. Um, I'm not feeling the best. I'm gonna do a Zwift racing score race for the first time using this new system which I'm really looking forward to because I've heard great things about it and I will say controversially the only people I've heard criticize it are people that I know are racing below their own ability which makes my heart sing to see people that I know could compete in a category above criticizing this new racing system so it gives me some confidence that it might sort out the sandbagging problem on Zwift controversial Man, this is gonna be a tough gig. Right, let's go. But I do know one thing from the past 14 months I've had on Zwift. I only need to smash out a few races to be back at my personal best again. Having only a few weeks off Zwift isn't long enough to undo all the hard work I have done over the last year. I need a lot longer than a few weeks. The new Zwift racing score system had just been introduced. I had heard good and bad things about it and I wanted to try it out for myself. I wanted to make my own mind up about the Zwift racing score. Stick around because I do make some comments about this shortly in the video. I signed up onto the Douce France route, or is it Douce, Juice, Douce? Anyway, I signed up onto the RGV reverse course. My Zwift racing score is just over 300 points. Rubbish, I know. I'm hoping this will improve over time and I went for it. I went for it on Douce. Douce? 
Or is it Doucet? champs Elysees. is a French say. Okay, I've decided to put some music on. I don't normally listen to music when I Zwift because I don't normally listen to music when I run. Today's Zwift ride, especially, it feels like I need those extra watts. So I'm gonna play some 90s dance hits in the background that are completely copyright protected. Oh, hang on, let's go. Forgot then. Oh my God. I got off the line easily enough, nearly got dropped only 400 meters off the line, I will say that. I have to put in a quick dig to latch back on, I then got to the front of the pack, or at least in the draft, of the lead group as we hit the rollers. I keep pressing stop on the music so I can talk. Let me turn that fan off a second. Everyone is pushing three watts per kg. Oh my God. This is like an FTP effort. Oh, guys, guys, what's this all about? I'm already getting dropped. There were a couple of moments on the early rollers where I was at risk of being dropped, my lack of recent practice coming back to bite me, and I occasionally drift to the front of the group, but I do enjoy the rollers on Doucet on, on RGB reverse, as my heavier 95 kg frame has a slight advantage on the rollers if I power into them, if I put a dig in as we hit them, because I can then recover on the small descents afterwards. Doing this over and over is fun. <sighs> Ah! I didn't have to put in another mini effort at about 2.7k to get back onto the lead group and I managed to stick to them. Now I will say I do need to get better at not surging and sticking with the group but unlike in D I need to hold 2.5 watts per kg just to stay with the peloton. 2.5 watts per kg in D would not only find me way out front on a breakaway but would probably get me a win all day long. I'm done. I eventually get back onto the lead pack and sit in their draft coasting all the way to the start of the climb at the aqueduct. Okay, is this the aqueduct? I don't know. Now, unlike on RGV, this side of the climb isn't short and punchy, which is how I like them, but long, slow and gradual. The story of my life. The group went early into the climb and slowly sailed away from me. I was far too heavy and too slow to react to be able to keep up with them. I should have punched into this a lot harder. I should have been in the front of the group as we hit it, not trying to play catch up halfway up it. I'm getting dropped, guys. I didn't drop anywhere near the watts I needed to stay with the leaders and I was dropped. This annoyed me. Ah. So with my aero power on the descent, I blasted through those that were also dropped in the front of me and I tried really hard to close the gap between me and the now significantly reduced lead group that did gain a 10 second gap on me, a gap that I actually managed to close down to only four seconds. I'm done. That was everything. Huh. This was really annoying because they were tantalizingly close but my heart was about to implode and I physically and mentally blew up. I then waited for those that were chasing me down and we TT'd it back to the finish line. Eventually I crossed it in 20 seconds out of 35. <laughs> Poxy gears! My gears failed. Connection, 2.5, 20 minutes. What? 2.85 minutes, 3.61 minute, six, 15 seconds. Am I lacking in oxygen? Have I gone delirious? 2.5 watts per kg average for 20 minutes normally would win me a decat. That would normally get me over the finish line in podium, at least. I'll take this off where it cuts off, my, my arm falls off. First impressions, it's really hard after one race. Do I like the Zwift racing score system? I don't know, I don't know how it works, still don't know. I didn't win. So does that mean I don't like it? Of course not. 
the fact it's made it competitive means that's a good thing. And if people win consistently and get promoted, you know, it should be like a football score league. If I'm winning every race, if I'm coming on podium in every race, it's boring. I mean, it's nice from an ego perspective. Do I like the Zwift racing score? Yes, because that was like a cat C race. 2.5 watts per kg average over that ride, over that 20 minute effort, and I came 22nd. That's cat C, baby. Now, this was one race down. I knew I quickly needed another one in legs, decided to do the same race again the next day as I knew this course. And for this one, I thought I'd try something different. I thought I'd attempt a new idea. My five minute max effort FTP, this was my poorly thought out attempt to get bumped from D to C in this race. Okay, so this is a different day, different video, or different time I'm videoing. So the next day, same race. So this is stage three of Viva de France. I'm back on Douche, Douce, Douce, RGV reverse. I'm back on it. I'm still doing the Zwift racing score as well. And I'm hopeful today's gonna to be less of a C cat race. Because yesterday's race was brutal. The top 10 were all C cat riders. So if I was able to get over the aqueduct and down the other side with them, I nearly got back on. If I could have got back on, it's all flat from there, baby. I think I'd have been okay. The sprint would have been a different story, but I think that would have been, I think I would have been okay if I could have just got back on. Now my existing maximum five minute power PB of three watts per kg, which I achieved several races ago now, was keeping me firmly in D. Now to get promoted into Cat C, I had two options. Theoretically I had three, which involved a much bigger and longer effort, which I didn't want to attempt. So I decided in my head, I only really had two options. Lose more weight really quickly, which isn't feasible to do healthily, and it would also jeopardize my other running events that I'm currently training for. So I forgot about that and went for option two. Hold at least 315 watts for five minutes, aiming for six minutes if I can to allow room for error, as this will give me the five minute 3.3 watts per kg I need to get promoted into C. I'd work this out based on my 94.6 kg weights I have listed on Zwift. The plan for this race was to try my best to stay with the lead pack over the aqueduct and whatever happens try to hold 3.3 watts or 315 raw watts on the flat after the climb for as long as possible i've got thunderstruck playing in the background probably the best running song in the world so i'm going to see if it's going to help me on zwift it's five four three two one Now I started off really well, no chance of being dropped early here. I was massively motivated. There was no way anyone was dropping me. I was prepared to drop seven, 800 watts if I had to. I didn't have to, but I powered through the rollers. I'm a man with a mission. You've seen this all before. I'm gonna skip through this bit and get to the spicy section just before the aqueduct climb. And then just as we were approaching the start of the build up to the climb, my camera battery dies. Now I need to record this to be able to make this video. I'm feeling good at this point and I had a good feeling about this FTP attempt. I could get, thank you. So with the help of my eldest, we eventually changed the battery, hit record again. Ah, oh, the battery just died. Now I'm being dropped because I had to change the battery. And this distraction meant I was now in the later stages of getting dropped just before the aqueduct climb. Oh man, this is less than ideal. And right at the point, the others were increasing their output to power into the climb. It was the worst time for the battery to die. I had to drop 400 odd watts and use my drafting boost in a vain attempt to keep up. On hindsight, instead of seeing this as an annoyance, I should have used this as my FTP threshold attempt. But my heart rate was now skyrocketing. I wasn't thinking and I came off the power at the top, ultimately ending my hopes of not getting dropped to end this race and also ballsing up my FTP really. Ah. Oh, I messed up. I need aero, aero. Ah. Oh. But all is not over for this race. Remember that I still want to attempt to hold 3.3 watts per kg for at least five minutes and now seemed like as good a time as any to attempt it. 
Now, coming close, guys, because I just want to say really, really quickly, I know this is not an optimum FTP maximum threshold power test route. I know that doing it on the flat isn't the probably the best way to do it. But I was now pretty much freewheeling having been dropped. I expected to be dropped because I've been dropped several times now on this route and I wanted to try. So here goes nothing. I wind it up. I see some riders only five seconds or so ahead of me and I use them as a target. 315 watts for five minutes. As Deadpool would say, maximum effort. I start off really hard, probably harder than I should have. And my plan was to slowly reduce the power down from plus 500 watts to try and hold 300 watts as I got tired. As I got tired, I was already knackered. I know. This was a ridiculous plan. There was no way I can hold 300 plus watts for that long, let alone 500 plus having already held 2.5 watts per kg for nearly 20 minutes. I don't know what I was thinking. What I do know is that this failure got into my psyche and made me believe I wouldn't be able to achieve this promotion into C. I would forever be a great pretender in D, racing in C until the Zwift racing score came in and categories were removed. So for those of you that wanted to know how this race ended, I soloed all the way home and finished 13th out of 16. Really disappointing. <laughs> Awful race. That's one of my worst races I've had in a long time. I'm done. Now, I just want to quickly say, as you can probably tell from the timestamp, this video is nowhere near over. I can't end this video on such a downer. I am not someone who gives up on a really hard challenge. And this is a really hard challenge. Okay, guys, welcome to this video. Today's video, I say today's video, it's all going to be one big long video. I've already done the grade. And you can watch the entire attempt up the grade. The first time I ever did it, I did several days ago now. You can watch that on my Patreon. I've done several races, three races at the moment. Um, one in Cat D, two on the Zwift Racing Score. Um, Zwift Labs, I think it's called. Yeah, I did two races on there. I got dropped in all three races. Doing the Zwift Racing Score has made me realise something. It's made me realise that very, very soon the categories, don't know when it's going to be, but the categories are going to be phased out. Probably won't happen overnight and it probably won't happen within the foreseeable future, but the categories will be phased out. And that means that it will all be down to Zwift racing scores, which I think is the better way, just to put that out there. However, I want to get promoted to Cat C, just as I know I had it in me to get into Cat C before they remove the categories. I pulled myself together and realized that attempting a threshold max effort mid-race is not optimum. I've said that several times now. So I decided to take on the grade again, but this time in a race. I'm gonna do a quick warm up now, and then I'm gonna attempt the grade again. I'm not attempting the grade for a new FTP. I'm attempting the grade so as I've got a consistent 10% for the first period, and I'm going to try, I'm going to try guys, and do 3.2 watts per kg for six minutes. That's the plan. I'm going to get on the bike. The grade had already kicked my ass. I needed to kick its ass back. I signed up for the grade again, and I did it in Cat D. Ignore the category. This wasn't me being a wimp, as if my plan came together, then I would be permanently exiled from Cat D, and I'd have a shiny new Cat C emblem next to my profile picture. I really hope I can do this. Plus, I've got zero chance of staying with any of these featherweights on a climb like this, regardless of what category I am, I'm in. Even if you put me in E, F, or G, I'm still going to get dropped on a climb. I wait. 95 kg. I'm not keeping up with anyone up the grade. Well, I'm going to get the stopwatch on my phone so as I've got that as a visual when I cross the line. As I stated, the plan is to hit the start of the grade hard. Not too hard, but enough to increase my average watts above 315. So when I inevitably do drop off, I've got a buffer to hold on to. Well, I'm going to go hard early. 
and thank God I did. Doing this in a race format rather than a workout or solo ride means I've got the stats on Zwift Power afterwards so I can dissect it. Plus the average watt readout is disabled. This is intentional so I can concentrate on my power meter rather than panicking about my average watts in the middle of my screen putting me off. Now I hit the timer on my phone. Remember that I'm aiming for six minutes, not five. I only need five for the FTP result, but I'm aiming for six as this will allow me room for error. I hit the line that marks the start of the grade and I ramp up the power. Too much power and I'll burn out too early. Too little power and it's all for nothing. I need to keep it above 315 watts. I hit the first marker in almost exactly one minute and I'm averaging 359 watts, which is perfect. That's one minute. This gives me quite a bit of room for error, but not so high that I'm burning out. Our bike's dropped out. Then not even two minutes into my effort, my bike disconnects. No! It completely disconnects from Zwift. Why this happens, I have no idea. F I've tried everything to stop it happening, and it's happened at the worst possible time. A few seconds later, it reconnects. Really annoying. I don't know why it does this, and I don't know if it's ruined my attempt. Do I reset the timer and try again? Do I quit? I felt like rage quitting. I'm not going to lie, but I decided to keep going. Then two minutes in, I'm not yet at the second marker, and my watts have dropped slightly below 300. Less than ideal. I need to pick up the pace. I hit marker two, averaging 306 watts, which is better. Okay, that's three minutes. But not perfect. Remember, I've I need a minimum of 315. I'm also not looking at the left section breakdown. I'm 100% focused on the effort and the big white text in the top left corner. So at this point, I have no idea if this is working or not. I have no idea what my average is. Three minutes in, and again, my watts are not where I need them to be. I'm not far off, so if I concentrate, if I concentrate, and if I go maximum effort, I can still do this. I haven't lost it but I don't know that when I'm doing this. Remember that this effort is more than any previous best effort that I've ever achieved in any race. I've never achieved 3.3 watts per kg for this long before. My best effort was three watts per kg. Four minutes. Four minutes in and I am now sub 300 watts. Now I complete marker three in exactly five minutes. So I have absolutely no idea if I've done it or not. Five minutes. Plus, I'm still going. Remember, I was going for six minutes to ensure that I put in my best effort. I didn't want to stop at five and miss it by one watt. Ah. That's it. Six minutes. Ah. I then hit six minutes. Now, I don't know if I've achieved it. I do know that I did over-index on the first section, so I'm really hopeful here. I'm also now 35% of the way through the climb up the grade, so I decided to finish the climb. I don't coast because I'm in a race, so I push as hard as I can. I push as hard as possible to the top. I'm also aware that I'm ahead of other DCAT riders, which was a surprise to me. As I get to the top of the grade, as I cross the banner, not the finish line, I achieve a new FTP of 243. New FTP. That's a new FTP. Yes. Yes. I achieve a new FTP of 243. That's nine watts more than my previous personal best FTP set months ago and a massive 16 watts above the previous lukewarm climb up the grade only days before. I then finished the race, came in second on Zwift Power. I came in second on a climb up the grade in Cat D. Uh, this is another podium winning Cat D. All right, let's have a look at this. Right, my five seconds, <laughs> I beat my best ever, 7.80. Five minutes, 3.09. One minute, forget about one minute. I've just done my best five seconds, but that was going downhill, so forget about that one. My 20 minutes, 253. That's three watts higher than my previous best. Five minutes, 
309. I think I only needed 303. Oh, yes, that was my last race in Cat D. It is official. I am now a Cat C Zwifter. I smashed my five minute threshold, set a new maximum five minute power of 3.3 watts per kg and a new 20 minute power of 2.7 watts per kg. This video officially marks my promotion to Cat C and the end of Cat D. Guys, please hold me in your prayers tonight when you go to bed because 2.7 watts for 20 minutes is nowhere near gonna win me a Cat C race. <laughs> I now need to work to get my three watts per kg over 20 minutes. <laughs> have I done it? This is the question. Live reaction. Let's have a look. 243. I just increased my FTP by nine watts. I'm not beating, I'm not beating 243 for ages now. I've been promoted! <laughs> oh, guys, look. Yes! Cat C, baby. Rest in peace, Cat D. Unless I stagnate and then get demoted. Thanks for watching. And by the way, it seems to be perfectly clear that you were on a break. <gasps>